Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7, Episode 14. Today we're going to be doing my review slash breakdown for the episode, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so guys, you're not going to want to miss my videos coming up very, very soon. So obviously, Superman Lois, I'm going to have my review out later today, but I'm also planning on trying to get out my Flash trailer breakdown because Godspeed is finally arriving. Some people thought he would show up at the end of this episode, but no, he didn't show up, which is kind of a disappointment because I was hyped to maybe see him. However, he is returning next week, and it must be said that there is only four episodes left of the season, so Godspeed's going to have four episodes, then he's done. Obviously, the second to last episode is the 150th episode, so... It's mainly going to be about like introducing Bart Allen, but Bart is going to have some stuff to do with Godspeed. So be on the lookout for that. That video is going to come out sometime later today. we got a lot to talk about in terms of that. But this episode, overall, it was okay. Like, it was pretty meh, in my opinion. I think that's like the best word to describe it. It was a little bit boring at times. It was not super boring. It was like engaging enough. But it wasn't like, oh, like I can't wait, like after every ad break, you know, what's going to happen next? It wasn't really like that. So that's just my brief thoughts. We're going to go ahead and break this episode down because there is some interesting stuff stacked within this episode. Especially to do with how Allegra ends off the episode and her sort of Super Saiyan moment. Okay, so we start off the episode mid-fight, we have Ultraviolet vs Allegra, we kind of knew that there was some twist coming, and that this fight, you know, starting in the middle of the action, there was something great going on, and it turns out there is something great going on, and a lot of this episode is literally just Allegra chasing after her cousin, them having fights, and them eventually working it out. But Barry's going away on holiday, that's why Barry wasn't in this episode, he had like two scenes throughout the episode, one more than I thought he would have. We knew that he was going on a mini vacation, and he reveals what this vacation is, and it's because of Chester's suggestion last episode. And it must be noted, Iris wasn't in this episode at all, so Candace didn't show up. However, this is obviously just them, the actors, having a break from filming for like a couple of weeks. It's in their contract, so it does happen like once or twice a season that like Barry and Iris aren't around. I guess it's kind of weird that it happened in the exact same episode, but I understand they probably wanted to give it to like the rest of Team Flash and try and focus on them whilst they were away. So yeah, Barry goes away on holiday with Iris and yeah, we know what they're doing. Like they're going away, having a nice time and... They are trying to get Bart Allen to exist, essentially. So, yeah, that is what happened, and I thought it was funny at the start of the episode how he references it was all Chester's idea after seeing them at the end of last episode. But anyway, let's go on to the next thing. So Frost goes away, she is supposedly shopping, but we know something greater is going on with her, and it's revealed at the end of the episode that she is after Chillblain, and so Chillblain is back. He's in the final scene of the episode, and he's out of Iron Heights, and he is supposedly reformed because he is helping, like, a jury or something, and he is a witness to someone's crime, and so that is how he's out of prison, and Frost is trying to take him down. Okay, so Allegra gets a tip about her cousin being back in town. She goes ahead and does some digging while Joe and Cecile listen to an audio recording of an interview he did with a person linked to Kristen Kramer and so Joe still thinks she's a good cop and this sets up what happens at the end of the episode with Joe and Kramer actually teaming up because it turns out her so-called brother like you know technically her brother betrayed them and she didn't realize and she kind of blames herself for that and she's been trying to catch him and hasn't been able to find him since and so Joe's gonna help her track him down and put a stop to him because you know he just basically lost all those team members lives just because he wanted to betray them I guess he got paid or something that hasn't been fully explained however we'll probably see him sometime in the next few episodes but whilst it's happening we have Chester and Allegra both at CC Jitters and Allegra needs to get through to her cousin and try and be family again this episode very much so is like a kind of fast and furious themed episode where at one point 
Allegra has this moment where I wrote down in my notes, I was like, this is Fast and Furious because she was just like, family, that's it. And it was just funny. But at this moment in Jitters, it suddenly explodes into storms of electrical bursts and there is explosions everywhere and it's crazy and you're like, who is this? And it turns out this is Ultraviolet. So somehow she's figured out that her cousin is going after her and she's been tracking her down. So she just shows up and you know, this is like part of her big scheme and Allegra thinks she's been killing people and that's why she's turning up in Central City. However, there is a greater reason for Ultraviolet showing up in Central City again. And so I thought it was funny that just after this, Team Flash, well, C-League Team Flash, they fully acknowledge that they are C-list. They're like, we shouldn't be doing anything without Barry, Iris, and everyone else, basically. So Sue, at this point, shows up, and Sue roasts them. And so that was really funny. Also, I must mention, in the previous scene at Jitters, Sue does show up for the first time, and she kicks Ultraviolet's ass. And I just thought it was really weird, the fight between Allegra and Ultraviolet, because she was doing like a bunch of Kung Fu moves, and it looked like something out of the Karate Kid, and I know that's Karate, but anyway, she was doing like martial arts stuff, and she was doing this weird stuff with her arms and everything, and I was like, okay, sure, like, have you done this before? Maybe she did, I don't remember, but anyway, let's move on from this. So, Sue versus Ultraviolet, and she has a Photon Blast, so Allegra roasts Chester because, you know, he doesn't want to fight, and so you know, he's told to stay back, and he's like, okay, sure, and, you know, at this point, a lot of the time throughout this episode, I was like, okay, so you're getting closer to Chester Allegra, right, but you're still calling him Chuck, when his name obviously isn't Chuck, it's kind of annoying, and I think they should correct that, considering that they're getting closer and closer together, and something might even be brewing behind it, with what happens at the end of this episode, and so, Sue stops Ultraviolet from stopping this doctor and then she's like fools you are saving the man who turned me into a monster and so they realize oh this is an evil doctor and Ultraviolet isn't the bad person and so Allegra tries to get around to her and Ultraviolet in the cell at Star Labs after they capture her tells her backstory and how she was tied down and how they cut her voice out of her and so she plays into Allegra's feelings and she gets around to her and she wants to help her out because she still believes in family. And so Sue thinks it's a suicide mission, and you know, pretty much it is a suicide mission. However, you know, things do work out. Anyway, so back to Joe and Kramer. So I thought this was interesting because this scene was incredibly harsh because Kramer goes mad at Joe. She starts screaming like all of a sudden, and I was like, damn, I feel bad for Joe. Like, Joe just got screamed at for no reason, just for showing up and like investigating her a little bit very suspect and she reveals yes it is suspect by the end of the episode but they have you know this sort of twist where they end up working together and so let's go back to the ultraviolet stuff so we see ultraviolet is trying to teach allegra to use her powers because they have very similar powers but they don't actually need it really like apparently they need it to take down the doctor and that's why they're training doesn't really make sense because the Doctor doesn't have any powers and they could just blast him straight away. So anyway, that was just like an excuse to make Allegra practice her powers and lead up to what happens at the end of the episode to do with her powers. And so whilst this is all happening, Chester's having his own sort of mini crisis and you know, Chester is being disregarded just because he doesn't want to fight literally. But he is a great help throughout this episode, he shoots out an EMP, he disarms some of those guards. And, you know, he's just a pretty helpful guy, like, he's able to track down Ultraviolet. And Allegra realizes this in this episode, thankfully. And it's also funny that Sue, at one point, says Allegra likes Chester. And Chester was like, hmm. And then, you know, you get the whole D&D &D scene at the end of the episode, where, basically, she's coming to a D&D &D game where she's probably never played before. Like, I mean, I even haven't even played before. I think it's a very niche thing. But she asks him out like even before this, but he's like, no, sorry, I got plans. But it's very awkward and it's very weird. But yeah, I think they are definitely building something up with that. There is strong hints that a new relationship is coming to Team Flash. But Joe and Cecile 
have the most interesting story in the episode, I would have to say. Apart from, I think Chester and Sue are really interesting. And Sue, because she is, like, so against Ultraviolet, and she kind of provides that team leader kind of quality of C-League Team Flash. Because really, although Caitlyn is there a couple of times in the episode, Danielle Panabaker is directing the episode, so she wasn't able to be there all the time. So she really wasn't part of, like, C-League Team Flash. But anyway, so Allegra, she gets very upset by all of this and you get some reveals about Sue's parents and the way that they were absorbed and, you know, she realizes, I think there is a way to get round to my cousin once again. And so you have Ultraviolet versus the evil doctor. And so he's like, are you ready for one last experiment? And so they make some sort of deal and this is a way for her to get her powers back. So Allegra fights Ultraviolet, once again, I think there was like a lot of fights this episode between them. And at this point, Sue is being her quirky self. She's taken down all the kind of goons in the back. And she's always got a pun on hand. And I really, really did enjoy all of Sue's scenes. I think she is a great addition to the show. And she's very funny. You know, I think she is kind of like the Ralph of the show. And I really like that, you know. I do miss kind of that aspect. So, Allegra, at this point, has a golden heart while she's using her powers, and so this is just randomly, and it's as she thinks of, let's cue it, Fast and Furious, family. So, yeah, it was pretty damn cool, not gonna lie, it looked very cool, looked like she was Captain Marvel, or like she was going Super Saiyan, I think people would say, with her light powers lighting up around her, she went supernova as was described, and Caitlyn thinks that she's leveled up and now she has a great control of her powers. She looked pretty damn cool, and I can't wait to see more of that because that was actually very interesting to do with Allegra and like why that actually happened and you know she had this kind of glowing heart. And so the doctor in this episode I must mention was bad, like he was doing stuff like during that scene, like holding his hands over his eyes when the lights were barely even blinding him in the shot. And so it was just kind of funny that, you know, he was this evil doctor, but he was pathetic in the end. But I guess that's kind of the point. Anyway, so Allegra and Ultraviolet go full on Fast and Furious and they're like, family. And it was fine by the end of the episode and so they recovered the files. And Caitlin thinks she can restore Ultraviolet's powers and supposedly she is going to be reformed. And so Joe and Kramer finally talk. And so... This is where you get the reveal about her brother in arms being the one that betrayed her unit and now Joe and Kramer are teaming up together. So I really, really like that twist at the end considering how rude and how abrupt Kramer's past interaction with Joe was this episode. So yeah, it was interesting and yeah, right after that you have the Allegra and Chester awkward stuff. There are definitely things to happen there. And at this point Barry speeds in asking what happened today and they're like nothing and he's just like mm, sure yeah so i love like barry's two scenes in this episode i mean i always like gran i think he adds something to the show that a lot of these characters are missing however like i said i think chester and sue are very very good i am really liking them right now i think allegra got better throughout this episode although i still think she isn't the best character and She's still a bit unlikable, mainly because she's calling Chester Chuck all the time. And it's very kind of ignorant, I think. But that's just my view on that. And Ultraviolet, yes, she is a little bit better than normal, but she was never a good villain in the first place. So she's still just like, eh, whatever. But the final scene in the episode was not what we were expecting. We were expecting a Godspeed scene. But it turns out it was Chill Blaine, he was escaped from prison, and now Frost is trying to stop him. So, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully you watched through. I know there wasn't super interesting points throughout this episode, but you're not going to want to miss my Superman and Lois video because they are going back in time. That's going to be my review that is going up later today after this video. Also, my Flash trailer breakdown for the new episode featuring Godspeed in the trailer is going to go up later today as well. So be on the lookout for all of that but for now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later goodbye
icy road. Heartbeat.